Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. You cannot be taking pictures of the inside of the car. Who are okay. you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You come over here all big tough guy? Hey, you can't be taking pictures inside the Says car. Says who? Says me. It's a police car. This clip is brought to us by Siberian Tiger. Go to the link in the description to their channel and subscribe to them. A big shout out to Siberian Tiger. The clip starts off with a man recording on a public sidewalk. He is recording public police vehicles from the sidewalk and he ends up having to deal with some officers. He deals with the tyrant officers perfectly after they say that he can't record the public police vehicles from the public sidewalk. The sergeant even says at one point that the vehicles are private. Watch the full clip to see the man make the cops do the walk of shame. Uh, who are you? Huh? Who are you? I don't know. What are you, what are you doing? You are don't you know taking, who? Are you taking close up pictures of the inside of the car? You can't do that, okay? Says who? Says me. Uh, who are you? I don't know. Well then, okay, you get lost. Be, you cannot be taking pictures of the inside of these cars. Watch me. You cannot be taking pictures of the inside of the cars. Who, okay. who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You come over here all big tough guy? Hey, you can't be taking pictures into the Says car. who? Says me. It's a police car, okay? And you, who are you? I'm a sergeant, okay? I'm a supervisor. Yeah? Okay, yeah. And? 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 And you can't be here. And you that. can get lost. It doesn't work that way, my friend. How does that work? Hey. What? You're going to we'll, get in my face we'll, like this? We'll find something you else. You think you're going to gonna intimidate me? Who is intimidating you, man? You then what's the problem? I don't know. I'm wondering what the problem is with you. You can never hear a tough guy. I'm wondering what the problem is with you. you there was no problem. What am I doing? You can't be taking pictures. Inside Says the who? Says me. What law? I don't know. Exactly. So get know. lost, tough guy. It doesn't work that way. Well, how's it going to work? I don't know. What a dumb guy. <laughs> taking pictures of the yeah. inside of the vehicles that are public property. I'm on the public sidewalk taking pictures of everything that is open, visible from my eyes, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Which is First Amendment protected activity, and oh, the tough oh, guy is. shows up here take, and tells me I can't take pictures. Taking pictures of the inside of the car is that's. Is, oh, is that, you too? You want to get on my case too about taking pictures? What law is that? What am I breaking? I don't know. That's called private property. You can't. You that's, can't. That's you private can, property? Come here. You can't. Come here, Sergeant. You can't take a picture. Come here, Sergeant. Vehicle. Come here. What it says over here? What does it say? What does it say? You don't know how to read? Any of you guys know how to read? What's your goal, sir? What do you need today? I was minding my own business. This guy comes over here, gets in my face, and and it gives me unlawful directives. Thing. I want you to know very clearly, sir. That's right. You are taking up valuable resources that could be helping the city. Did I call you? Because we are focused Great. on you. Great. Here's how you can end this. So I think that's important. This is how you can end this. What do you need? Go back to your job and mind your own damn business. You need to not point your camera inside of police vehicles and record information off of our computers. According to whom? Don't do it. According to whom? That's it. According to whom? Sir, what law is that? So I will stand wherever the hell I want. Have a good day, sir. Get lost. That's how you should have reacted in the first place. You come out here and you harass me, a law-abiding citizen, that's the reaction you're going to get. Servants, get lost. Well done to this man for perfectly dealing with these tyrant cops trying to stop him from recording. These cops must lack critical thinking. The man is literally standing on a public sidewalk and is recording some publicly funded cop cars which are also parked in the public, not behind any restricted building. How this sergeant can say that the vehicles are private makes no sense to me. It's not like the man is breaking into them or even touching them. He is literally just observing them and recording them, and that's it. Of course, the man had to make them do the walk of shame at the end for how badly they handled the situation. At this point, they're asking you to leave. Mm -hmm. So your invitation to City Hall has been revoked at this point because they're asking you to leave. All right, so I'm trying if to get If you fail to leave and they press charges, uh, then yeah. This video is brought to us by Liberty Troll. Once again, a big shout out to Liberty Troll. Make sure you check out their channel and subscribe to them. The video begins with the man filming in the Orlando City Hall. The man is told that he can't record by the security guard who is present and the public employee. 
The police are called and eventually turn up to speak to the man recording. The man is given two options. Either way, he must leave. Watch the full clip to see what the cops threaten the man with if he doesn't leave. Orlando City Hall. The I mean, he told me that, but I told res you that you're respectfully, not I'm re respectfully, respectfully, I'm you you're not allowed to record in the building. You're, di you're disrespecting what I said. I'm not disrespecting you. I just you. told you go down to the first floor. Go we'll take care of your issues on the first floor, and you're not complying with me. So now I'm actually nice to, to come. Floor, to come. Come. What the captain's that? instructing for me to escort you to the second floor. Excuse me. Can you come down to the second floor, please? I'm not yet. No, I, I got to check out the rest of the floors first. I checked out uh, nine, well, this floor, uh, three and four, two. What are supposed to do is go downstairs, let them know what your issues are, and then we'll see if we have someone to escort you to what you have to do. But you now, I'm also getting pictures and video of the different floors. And, uh, but did you, know, you see this a sign at and, the entrance that says you cannot video record? Yeah, and respectfully, I, I see, I've seen the sign, but the sign is just a policy. A policy is only as good if it's uh, you know, lawful, um, if it comports you know, to the law. It does work with the law. But the Constitution gives us a right under freedom of the press to record You're have to leave public building. stop recording. Well, I mean, he told me that, but I'm going to check out the floors, finish my business, and I'll be I'm going to call the police if you don't leave. What? Well, well, don't do that. Recording. Well, I'm not going to stop recording now because I have okay. security involved and Would stuff. You have, okay, come on. Okay. okay. So this gentleman's being very nice, okay. um, but he's just, he's violating one of our policies, which is no video recording beyond the security. So I asked him nicely, and he's been very polite to me. I've asked him if you just quit video recording. I'm trying to get some clarity. Yeah, and thank you. And if you can't stop video recording, I've asked him to, to leave because it's our policy okay. to, to do that. Here's a okay. copy of some of the rules and governing City Hall. You can clearly see it right here. It covers video. Okay. So right there. I'd like you to leave. <clears throat> All right. So because clearly you're violating the rules if you're recording. Can I have a second to read this real quick? Absolutely. Okay. But at this right. point. Yeah. That's the policy. You violate the policy. They can I, can I keep this? You can keep that. That's your copy. I brought it up here right. especially for you. So at this point, we're going to ask you to leave. Exit. Okay. Yeah. I like your I like I like your flag on your so. on your vest, by the way. Okay. But, but let me ask you this. Well, let's head back down, and we can talk when we head well, back down. Okay. I will. But can I ask you something? When we head back down. It, am I under threat of arrest if I don't leave? If they press charges, it's trespass after warning. At this point, they're asking you to leave. Mm -hmm. So your invitation to City Hall has been revoked at this point because they're asking you to leave. All right, so I'm trying to If you away. fail to leave and they press charges, I, then yeah. yes, you would be subject to I, I will leave under threat of arrest if that's where we are. Is that okay. where we're at? That's where yep. we'll end up if is, you can't. Okay. No, so is, obviously, that's where we're at. Okay. So, so they're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, then they're going to press charges. Yeah. And at that point, then you will be subject to arrest. All right, so I'm under, I'm under threat of arrest. I'd rather not take it that point. No, 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 I, I'm, so I respect I'm sure you. you. I respect law enforcement. I'm a okay. big fan of, you know, you guys, we, did, we depend that. on you guys a I lot. I appreciate for, you being polite. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you being a gentleman. I furnished you a copy of the rules. Yeah. If you have any questions about that, you can call and make an appointment with the city hall manager mm -hmm. and try and discuss the rules with them if you feel that, you know, for whatever reason that. So, so am I under threat of arrest if I don't leave right now? Yes, you are. That's okay. Okay, I just want I mean, to get confirmation on that. Nice yeah, you seem like a nice guy. I just. We don't want you to get All right. Well, we just well, like you to down this way. Down this way, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That way. So I'm leaving the building entirely, or? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you mind if I talk to somebody? Um, do you guys? Do, they, do I get like a trespass, like a warning or something? Yeah. I'll ask him real quick. Sorry. So what's interesting? is inside these public buildings, they have cameras in the publicly accessible areas, which I can submit a FOIA request and obtain that footage and use it for whatever I want. So my, my argument or contention would be, what's the difference you know, with somebody walking around with a video camera? I don't make policy as far yeah. as access to the building is concerned. Yeah. Okay, that's done by City Hall. Those are their rules. Yeah. So when you come into the building to do business, you have to abide by their rules. Just don't wanna, I just don't want my, my rights infringed upon, unfortunately. I don't think you upheld your oath today, even though I, I respect you as, you know, the way you handle this situation in other, you know, in every other way. But, um, you know, I'm just here to exercise rights on top of having official business, which I completed today. Okay. I just didn't get a chance to uh, continue participating in constitutionally protected activity, which should not be well, translated. Again, I first I'll you a read, copy of the yeah. rules. You can read the rules. I'll look at that. If you have any questions, you can contact City Hall. And do you have a business with card with I you? Sure do. I appreciate it. You can take it up with them. All right. But those are their rules. All right. These cops acted quite weirdly. Besides the fact that they didn't uphold their oath, I don't know why he was trying to be nice to the man after he quite clearly was threatening him with arrest if he didn't leave the building. 
And yet again, why are there this many cops just for this one man? What do these people who call them say to the police for them to bring this many cops to the scene? It's good that the man confronted the cop about not upholding his oath. Hopefully, he did make a complaint on the cop after this. I believe that is a no trespassing sign. Sure. The thing is, I'm, I, I'm not considered trespassing on public property. Right, so, so this is a federal facility like any other facility. So the, they do so this clip is brought to us by Tyrant Terminator Audits. Be sure to show them some support by checking out their channel and subscribing to them. Once again, a big shout out to Tyrant Terminator Audits. The clip starts off at the Gurney, Illinois post office. James, the man filming, ends up getting the police called on him for being in the back parking lot of the post office. According to them, the parking lot is restricted, therefore James can't be there. James argues that where he entered from, there was no signs up saying that he couldn't enter the parking lot. James then says that is policy and not the law. Watch the full clip to see whether the cops think it's law or policy. Post office out in Gurney, Illinois. What's up? Huh? What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Huh? Nothing much. Why are you taking pictures? I'm just taking a few photos and videos. Yeah. Of the uh, mail inside the mail room and the mail trucks and stuff. What? The mail trucks. Who are you? Who, huh? Who are you? What's your name? What? What? Who are you? I'm I'm just some guy. But what's your name? Hold on, just a second. Okay. What's going on, officer? How you doing today? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Officer Deceph. De Decef? Decef, Decef, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's spelled weird. Oh, okay. But it's pronounced Decef. And your name, officer? What's that? What's your name, officer? Name's Officer Buter. Buter. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. Thank okay. You. Can you tell us what's going on over here? Nothing much. Just walking around, documenting like I do every other day. Sure. <laughs> okay. nothing, nothing nefarious. Don't have any ill intent today. Don't know uh, that we have a First Amendment right to, you know, be in public recording. Sure, of course. If you guys can yeah, educate yeah, I don't them. Think so. Huh? To be in a restricted area? I don't think so. Oh, this is not restricted, though. This area is not restricted at all. There's no signs or... There's no signs restricting this area or... Any. So, so this area is kind of soft. Uh, I, I would have to go double check and see exactly what the verbiage is, but from the other direction, it definitely says you know Well, you know what? They, it says, I think it says something like... Um, I'll check. Uh, He's going to check right Authorized now. personnel vehicles only. Sure. Right. So I'm not driving though. I'm just walking in. So. So if you'd like to come with me, we can take a look at the sign together. But my partner just read it, and it right. says no trespassing. Um, oh, I'm not so trespassing. You can't. Sure, right. But being back here means you are, right? So if you want to take a look at it? We can. We can take a look together. Is that way we, you know? Well, no. I mean, I want you to take my word for it. We can go take a look. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I mean, it's not even about taking. Where well, I believe there's a no trespassing sign. Sure. The thing is, I'm I, I'm not considered trespassing on public property. Right. So, so this is a federal facility like any other facility. So, they so you right say government? government property, yeah. So so that makes it public, right? So, so not every no one's going to do more. So here's here's the deal, right? So public, you understand, right, that just because a, a piece of property is owned by the government does not necessarily make it public, right? Not every piece of government land is public access. Okay, right? but so this is. Well, I want to deal with this, though, officer. We want to deal with yeah, this one. Yeah, we'll get it. No trespassing. Uh, violators will be prosecuted. And that's, that's why I didn't come in this way. Which way? You came in from the other side? That's correct. And there's no the signs, side absolutely side. none on that side at all. How do I know? Because I walked in that way. Right. So, 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 I mean, you, if, you, if you officers want to do me a favor, y'all want to call a sergeant out here right? so we can, because I, I, mean, you, you, I mean, you know, you guys are, maybe you're not sure. Nope. And that's okay not to nope. be sure. We're right. that's, and and, that's, and then in order to be trespassed, again, I will have to be asked to leave. To ask to leave. This sign is asking you to leave, right? No, this no, absolutely. That, that, that's not how to go, this officer. Come on up. I do these all over. I know precisely what I'm doing. So, are you you work here? You the postmaster? Are you familiar with your uh, poster seven? Yeah. So you so see you see where it say about photos and things. Well, that's not what the Well, that's not what the sign. That's not what the law say. We are talking about federal law. Re regardless, this is post office in this parking lot. It's, it's accessible to the public. Regardless. Yeah, the, the post office, you're right. The post office is the parking lot. This park is never clearly posted sign, so. So that no trespassing sign, I would have to be asked to leave and then refuse yeah, and to leave. They called us and they asked you to leave. 
So you, by all means, if you want to be at the post office, you can stay here all day. It's just this is a private area of the post office, so they have the sign that says no trespassing. Now, 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 Officer DeSalp, with all respect, now that. That, that you just soliciting to the trespass. Now that's soliciting the trespass, officer, because uh, because you, you asked her, mm -hmm. if I still go on there, w will I be arrested? Uh, you'll be issued a ticket for for violate for trespassing. That, that I'll be issued a ticket, ticket for, for trespassing, trespassing. But I, so I won't be arrested. Ticket, and then if you refuse to leave, yeah, yes, then you. Then I'll be arrested. Okay, well now I have standing because now I'm being under threat of arrest and duress. I won't exercise my First Amendment right because that's what's being conveyed to me now by four officers. So again, Jewel? real quick, <laughs> that that sign, right? People put up signs all the time. It does not make it law. Oh, okay. Is that, is that, is, do you agree? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go back inside the building, so I'm, I know I'm good to go in there. Yeah, so. Public area, Thank you. That's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. All right. All right. Calling the cops for someone in a parking lot seems a bit over the top. Besides this, as the cops arrive, there are once again way too many for just one man recording on a parking lot documenting everything he is doing. James has a point that where he entered didn't have any signs up saying you will be trespassed for entering. The post office should update its signs around the buildings so that it is clear at all entrances. The one thing that doesn't go for James is that there are signs up at one entrance saying that if you trespass, you will be prosecuted. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the situation. Davidson's getting a complaint. Don't make me go get my flashlight, Davidson. This video is brought to us by SLO County Observer. Be sure to check out their channel and subscribe to them. A big shout out to Gabriel. The video begins with Gabriel filming the police carrying out a DUI check on someone. An officer who arrives at the scene keeps on turning towards Gabe and flashes his torch at his camera. It seems that this officer forgot that doing this is a Bane Act violation and he is clearly blocking Gabe from recording, which is his First Amendment right. The cop continues to do it, and Gabriel isn't happy with him at all. Watch the clip to see what Gabe does about it in the end. If you refuse a breathalyzer, you're gonna get arrested. So when I showed up, I heard Officer Molina tell this guy he does not have to do this. This person is aware that these are voluntary. She did say that. It didn't help at all. a complaint for Davidson. <laughs> Davidson's getting a complaint. Don't make me go get my flashlight, Davidson. Mine'll win, man. Davidson's getting a complaint tomorrow. Her and I, you're a witness to it too, man. You saw it. What's that, Gabriel? Davidson obstructing my camera. Okay. You don't care at all? Well, there's no laws regarding white light in a public place, so. Obstructing someone's camera, though, that's a Bain Act violation. Okay. Under color of law. Okay. He doesn't care. Her and I knows. He saw the whole thing. Doesn't care. What was the cop thinking? He is clearly trying to make it so Gabriel can't record the DUI check. And to continuously do it when it is clearly a Bane Act violation just shows how stupid this cop is and how he isn't aware that his actions have consequences. Hopefully, Gabriel followed up on his complaint on the officer and the officer had some repercussions for his actions. And the other officers don't even care that their fellow employees are violating the Bain Act. 
It seems that most of them don't care until they have to pay for their actions, which sadly doesn't happen often enough. Like that. I don't care how belligerent a, a, a employee might come, a customer. Did you guys call the cops? Oh, sir. I haven't called anyone. Did anyone someone call before. the cops? Sir, I just can't. Before you leave, I need sir. names and badge numbers. This video is brought to us by Big Nick SFA. A big shout out to Nick. Be sure to subscribe to his channel and to check out his videos. The video begins with Nick filming at the Oakland Park City Hall. He encounters a rude employee who tells Nick to stop recording. Nick wants to know her name, but the other employees initially refuse to give out her name to him. The police then show up out of nowhere and Nick has no idea who called them on him. The cops end up being very professional. Watch the full clip to see them help sort out the situation. Coming out to conduct a First Amendment audit. They don't work for the public. You need to quit your job as a public employee if you don't want to be recorded. Go to HR. No, I don't have to go to HR. I am, I am, I am Oakland Park. Yeah, you are. All right, my cards right here. You are. My name is Andrew Thompson. It's right here on the card, sir. Thank you, because I could be visually impaired. That's why you verbalize it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I saw you looking at me a little bit earlier. Yeah, I was. I look at all public okay. officials that's getting paid by the tax dollars. Say, I don't want to be on your camera. I say, ma'am, if you work for the public, you don't want to work for the public, be seen by the public, go to the private sector. Oh, very rudely. Well, I don't want to be on your camera. Go to HR. You don't put me on your, you don't talk to the public like that. I don't care how belligerent a, a, a employee might come, a customer. Did you guys call the cops? Oh, sir. I haven't called anyone. Did anyone someone call the call? cops? Sir, I just can't. Before you leave, I need sorry. names and badge numbers. No problem. Your name? Of course. Name batch number? Joseph, 20061. Name batch number? Montavo, 18479. Name batch number? Monero, 18427. I need the call code as well. I need to contact the, uh, so I can get the 911 call okay. or whatever information. Can you give me that now? Because I don't know. I'm just in here talking with my public officials. The, the so. gentleman um, was, was, I believe, filming the utility billing office. I think he had a negative interaction from the customer. And I just want her to be identified. I overheard him wanting to make a public records request. I confirmed it was under Chapter 119. I'm trying to provide him with those responsive records. Um, I think he's he's wanting us to to identify a single individual, but under Chapter 119, I need to provide him records that exist. So a little bit unclear how to proceed here. I'm, I'm not sure. I've never met you, gentlemen, but uh, I'm well, not sure if they can help you. I mean, if you no, they can. had a records request that somebody can make. Uh, he is, and I think he wanted a list of the people in the office. I wanted one name, but if you're going to continue with the list, then I'll take the list. Okay, sure. We can provide you a list. We will do it all. Are you guys going to try to find out who did call? And Because if they were to I remove can't... me from here, that would have been a violation no, of my no, First no. Amendment right. No, no, no. They wouldn't, they're not here to remove you. They're here. To I'm not understanding why four. I don't you know how much this nobody, is? Nobody knows. I think. About $500,000 of taxpayers' money. More than that with you guys here. Okay. You didn't okay. Ask me. Well, I take anyway, your car. You my car. Thank you. Um, uh, and I will provide you the list. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, gentlemen, I don't think we need you. All right. Um, I think we'll have a good day, sir. Fine. Thanks for your service. Be Thank safe. You, sir. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant, name and badge number, please, Sergeant. Sergeant Perico, one four eight zero eight. Thank you for being professional. These cops really just showed up out of nowhere. Even Nick had no idea who called them and was surprised to see them. It must have been the woman behind the desk as the man said it was not him who called them. These employees must be best friends of some sort. To not give over a name is quite the loyalty. The police who do show up though are very professional and end up sorting out the situation which Nick acknowledges. These women called the cops just for them to be on Nick's side and leave after a few minutes a waste of time. They could be dealing with proper crimes but they're here due to a pointless call. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.